Hey, Heather here with BlendHappy.com. Today we're making blender cake. Ah, blender cake, what? Like cake on BlendHappy.com? I know, smoothies, juicing, that's what I'm all about, healthy eating. But every now and then, you gotta indulge a little, yeah. So we're gonna make a nice blender cake in my Vitamix blender, Professional Series 750. Loving this thing, loving it. As you all know, I was blending for a while with Vitamix, then Blendtec, and I went back to Vitamix. I really just fell in love with the blender, and then I became affiliate, full disclosure. And I just, I love it. I cannot say enough good things about it. But this isn't a blender review, so <laughs> make sure you watch my new 2017 Vitamix blender review if you want to hear more about this awesome blender. Anywho, so I'm going to make a cake in the blender, it's gonna come out very fluffy and perfectly moist. I know some people hate that word, so I'm like hesitant to use it, but how else do you describe a cake, huh? Somebody let me know, comment below if you have another way to describe a really fluffy, not dry cake. So, this is really simple recipe. And I chose blender cake because, you know, some people don't have a stand-up mixer, and if you're on a healthy lifestyle and you're blending more than anything else, like me, <laughs> you just want something quick that you can just throw in, blend, and then pour into a pan. I was gonna say save, save time on dishes too, <laughs> but I've used all these bowls, I get it. Obviously you can just use measuring cups, measuring spoons, throw it in. I'm just doing this to look better. You know, you don't wanna just see all these bags hanging out over here. Anyway, so there's a reason we're making blender cake. Okay, is it maybe, maybe I'm celebrating moving into my new house? Is it my one year anniversary with my husband, the greatest man ever? Mm -hmm. I don't know, keep watching until the end of the video to find out what we're celebrating. Maybe I won something awesome. There's so many options. Maybe you can guess before the end of the video. <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna start by pouring in my liquids. Half cup water. We have half cup oil, vegetable oil. Now, <laughs> I was telling my husband about this. I said, oh, it's gonna be you know, a healthier cake because I, I made this recipe one time with butter and it's delicious, but, um, and that's blender brownies, which is another recipe. Butter's not the healthiest fat, high in saturated fat. Whereas, you know, if it's solid at room temperature, it's worse for you. And I'm simplifying terms here. So anything liquid at room temperature is better because you have your uh, poly and mono unsaturated fats, whereas a butter is a saturated fat, so it's an unhealthy fat. So I've also made this recipe into a brownie batter using the olive oil or um, vegetable oil or a canola oil, any type of oil, even a grapeseed, that's not a butter. We've got two eggs here, so it's just a little fun fact for you. <laughs> and then I have a teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla extract. <laughs> and then we have a cup of sugar. And then here, I've just put it all in one bowl. We have a half cup flour, six tablespoons of unsweetened bacon, cocoa, baking cocoa, oh, I need to talk slower, huh, bacon cocoa, ooh, bacon flavored cocoa, bacon cake, yeah, just kidding. So then we have a half teaspoon of baking powder, not soda, because baking powder is a leavening agent, well, they're both leavening agents. Anyway, the point is, is baking powder versus baking soda, baking powder is gonna help you get that rise, whereas notice in cookie recipes, you use baking soda for the leavening agent, but in cakes, you use the baking powder. So, we pour all this gorgeousness in here. I like to scrape the bowl a little, get every little chocolate bit in there. Mmm, chocolate cake. There we go. We just put the lid on. And if you see here are the buttons, I'm gonna zoom in for you. We have a smoothie button, ice cream, soups, and then we have batters. So we're gonna turn it to batters, not cleaning. <laughs> And then we're gonna just turn it on and watch the blender blend the cake. Mm -hmm. 
Now you get a little loaf pan, because it's just a small little cake, it's, it's not very big. <laughs> so you get a loaf pan, you lightly grease it and lightly flour it. And we have our beautiful blender cake here, very smooth. I like sticking it in a blender because it really aerates it, so it's going to be just really fluffy. And go ahead and just pour. Mmm, oh, it smells so good. You can just go ahead and spread it out in the pan. Again, not a very big cake. You can also use a small circle pan or you can use a like, brownie pan, an 8 by 8 I just felt like making a loaf cake. I don't know. <laughs> uh. The cake is baked cooled and decorated. So what is it that we're celebrating? Yay! Well, there it is. Now you know. <laughs> been hiding it. Ooh. <laughs> so some of you have been asking where I've been. Some people have been saying, where is your face? I miss you. Where you been? And well, I hadn't been feeling well during the fire, like the first trimester, but now I'm in the second. Woo -woo. Got a baby in my belly. So cute. Cute baby. So, yeah, about five months, 23 weeks now. So it's really exciting. I'm really excited to make more recipes with my blender, make more videos, and have some baby food recipes to come, some recipes for pregnancy. So my whole series is not going to change though. I'm still going to be blending, juicing, uh, food videos, fitness for everybody, but I'll have a new series to launch. So Blend Happy Baby, and that will be about pregnancy and nutrition and then having the baby, nutrition for the baby, and homemade foods for the baby. So it's gonna be really exciting. Yay, <laughs> I'm just so excited. I love my life, I love my husband, I love my baby, I love my house. Just so good, life is so good. And if you wanna know the gender, be sure to watch my next video with the blender gender reveal or gender blender reveal. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out how to word it, but I will be making a smoothie based on the gender of the baby. So I don't know, is it gonna be a strawberry and like pink and red smoothie? Or is it gonna be like a blueberry, you know, some kind of blue smoothie? I don't know, we'll watch and find out. So that's what's happening here and uh, yeah, I'm happy to share the news with you all, and I just want to say a big thank you to my loyal followers and supporters who'd been asking about me and wondering where I was. Well, here I am, happy, safe and sound, and healthy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.